So now this is very important layer. So that is transport layer. When we discuss about three layers, so the data is in which format data. So now when the data comes to transport layer, it actually converts the data into segments. It means it will divide the data into multiple chunks or parts. Okay, means you are getting a data. So when the data is going to transport layer, it is actually segmenting the data into multiple parts. Again, hello is very small. So I'm just explaining you what is F. So the data is actually converting. And so this is known as segmentation. Okay. And also this transport layer is responsible for sequencing. What is this sequencing? So it will actually add the number on the data. Why? Because when data is going from one PC over the internet to any another device or in your LAN network anywhere. So might be there is a chance the packet will be drop. And when the data is going to be, so B will check, okay, I got one, three, four, five. I haven't received the second number sequence. Can you please retransmit? Can you send me a gate? So in this transport layer, we actually do retransmission logs. But transport layer actually divided into two protocols. So all this retransmission, segmentation, sequencing all comes at the TCP. Sequencing is used so that we can assemble or reassemble the data at the destination. So the now data is coming from above layer. Okay, so now you can just say that we have two trucks over here. So one truck is known as, you can say that it's a TCP. And this is a UDP. So whenever we send any data with TCP, any packet is going from source to destination. So the destination is going to send us back a receipt that is known as acknowledgement. But when data is going with the UDP, we are just sending the data, but we are not going to get back the receipt of whatever we are sending. So TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and UDP stands for User Data Graph Protocol. So whenever data is going with TCP, so it actually takes care of acknowledgements. So tell me if anybody is coming with the receipt, who is more reliable, TCP or UDP? Because it is coming back with the receipt that I have delivered the data. So this is reliable. Where this person or this the UDP truck is not reliable, right? And if data is lost, if suppose we are sending data, one box dropped in the road or somewhere. So it is going to retransmit the data. So we don't have any retransmission over here. No retransmission. It always believes in connection. So this is in network language, it is known as connection oriented because it always believes in making connection, but this is connection less. So it has the less overhead. Less overhead means whenever we sending beta, we don't actually send a lot of many things. So it means uh, there will be less size of the packet in comparison to TCP. So TCP takes 20 bytes. And the UDP takes how many bytes? Eight bytes. So what is that information? That is port numbers. We add port numbers here. So the bytes I'm talking here, 20 bytes, eight bytes, it actually adds port number. Uh, there is a protocol number to it. TCP protocol number is six. Because this these both protocols falls under IP. TCP works under IP and the protocol number is six. And UDP works also under IP, that protocol of Paris 70. 